What's going on everybody? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. I am super excited for today's video. We have something pretty awesome sitting here in front of me that is gonna go on the Camaro. So not to build the suspense, but if you look on the car, the trunk has got a little bit of blemishing. I mean, there's a little bit of stuff here. There's some scratches and everything. And if you go to the hood, the hood has this weird spot that cannot be buffed out. Somebody put something caustic on the hood and I wanted to cut in like the ZL1 style heat extractor on the hood because that would take that whole area out and that would just kind of freshen it up and you could see how bad the paint is. Obviously the paint's bad everywhere on this car, but on these flat surfaces, it really shines. So this whole video is thanks to my wife because yesterday she told me that she has something special that we are gonna be picking up after work and this is what it is. That's right, you guys, we officially have a carbon fiber hood and carbon fiber trunk. So tonight we're gonna start by doing the trunk. The hood I'm gonna need a little bit of help with just because it's so wide. I definitely can pick it up by myself. The things weigh like maybe five pounds each is what it feels like. I wish I had a scale so I could weigh them for you, but let me tell you what, they are extremely light. So let's go ahead and get set up. Let's go ahead and start dismantling the current trunk on the car. Now, I don't think I'm gonna transfer that spoiler. As much as I love the LVA spoiler and how incredible it looked, I think I'm gonna go ahead and forego drilling into the carbon fiber. We'll see how it looks once it's on the car, but the way I'm leaning right now, I'm leaning no LVA spoiler, but that does not mean I don't support LVA anymore. Those guys have something special coming for the front of this car that you guys will be seeing very soon. All right, you guys, we have the factory trunk off of the car and on the floor. I noticed one thing with this trunk, it doesn't have, let's see if I can lift this up carefully. If you notice where the hinges go, you can see where that paint is. There is no studs. So I'm wondering if I have to transfer the stud from that trunk to this trunk. So we're gonna figure that out real quick. All right, you guys, so from what I'm seeing, you can't pull the studs out of the factory trunk. And what I'm seeing from other people's installs on these carbon hoods, I mean trunks, is they just thread in some screws like some machine screws into those. So that's what we're gonna do. I actually have some that'll fit that are black, so that's perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get the trunk lined up on these posts here. We're gonna get it mounted and we're slowly gonna close it, not all the way, and get this thing lined up so that we can make sure this thing fits perfect. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. This factory um, trunk here probably weighs close to 30 pounds and the aftermarket one probably weighs about five. All right, you guys, we have the factory hood off and stripped. We took off the washer sprayers. They're down here. There's two little square mounts that these go into. They're pretty tricky to get out, so be careful. I actually broke one of my clips. I had to super glue it, but it looks like it's gonna hold. So now that we have the factory hood stripped, we're gonna head over here. And as you can see on the carbon fiber hood, we have a mount there and a mount there. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on there, and then we'll be ready to go ahead and mount it onto the flanges. It's super easy to switch out the hood and trunk on this car. If you guys wanna pull off your hydraulic lift there, all you gotta do is there's a metal clip, be very careful, it'll go springing away. Take a flathead screwdriver, get up underneath it, and twist, comes right off, and the hood lifted off pretty easy. All right, you guys, the carbon fiber hood is now on the car. I still have to do all the aligning, but as you can see, we have full venting now. We didn't on the factory hood. This is gonna be really great for this car because these engine bays get really hot. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna set you guys up back there. You're gonna watch me go ahead and align this, and then we'll be done with getting the carbon fiber parts put on the car. Oh yeah, I just gotta 
line it. Good there. A little gappy there, actually. No way. I think we aligned it first try. <laughs> oh my god, we did! Well, I guess I don't need to align it. Uh, it's perfect. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have the hood and the trunk now installed on the car, but unfortunately, we're running out of daylight, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut to tomorrow where we're gonna pull the car out and get it all polished. See you guys in the morning. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. It is the next day. We're gonna go ahead and pull the Camaro out. We're gonna give it a nice wash, and we're gonna do a spray-on ceramic coat that I cannot wait to share with you guys. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have the car pulled out into the driveway. You can get a better feel of the carbon fiber. You can see we got the louvers on here now. Let's run around to the back. Matches our carbon mirrors. And then back here, we have a full carbon fiber trunk with an integrated spoiler. It looks absolutely incredible, you guys. All right, you guys, so we don't run out of daylight. We're gonna go ahead and get the car all washed up. I'm gonna give you guys a nice cinematic. We're gonna get it all buffed up and we're gonna get some ceramic coat on there. And I cannot wait for you guys to see this thing in all its glory. All right, you guys, the car is all washed and dried. So now it is time to apply a quick ceramic spray. So the people over at GT Shine went ahead and sent me a quick ceramic spray as well as some quick buffing towels. So we're gonna go ahead and get the car nice and treated. Now in this shot, you can see that the hood was not treated by anything before when I was washing, all the water was pooling up on it and the rest of the car was beating. But that's because I've used a different ceramic spray. But now that I've got these guys, we're gonna go ahead and give them a try. We're gonna do it over the whole car and we're gonna see how well it does. So I'm gonna set you guys up for another time lapse. We're gonna use GT Shine. So as you guys can see on the treated area that I just did, the water beat it up and just ran down. Of course, it ran down into the engine bay. I That is unreal. That it was so quick. And it was just three sprays on this spot here. And you guys here, I'll do a comparison. The water was sticking to the surface. wasn't going anywhere. With this little bit of spray and just a little bit of buffing. I mean, that took me maybe a minute and a half. Water is already pooling. So we're going to go ahead and spray the rest of the car. And once I'm done with that, I will show you guys all the new carbon. Thank you so much to the people over at GT Shine. Thank you so much to my beautiful wife who went ahead and spoiled me rotten with the carbon trunk and hood. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let's give you guys some goodness to listen to and I'll see you guys in the next one. God.